But before I go, I'd like to leave you with this thought. Earlier this month, something extraordinary happened. A 31-year-old climber, Alex Honnold, completed a 3,000-foot rope-free ascent of El Capitan in Yosemite National Park. Impressed as I am by his almost superhuman tenacity, Honnold's grip on that sheer Californian granite is as nothing, nothing, compared to Theresa May's determination <laughs> to cling on to power. <laughs> She has almost no footholds left, only a few weirdly shaped crags of the DUP to claw at with her feverish fingertips. <laughs> a thousand feet from the ground with no safety net, no route up or down, just a howling gale of criticism buffeting her from all directions. And yet, she hangs on. She has no choice. Cling on or disappear, exist or die. And that's why, deep down, I admire her. In a way, I love her. <laughs> Theresa May is all of us clinging on to our hopeless lives, our shitty dreams. <laughs> She's locked in to an existential rictus of terror, devoid, as we know, of any other human quality except tenacity, having no spark of wit, no warmth, no sincerity, no empathy, nothing except her refusal to let go and tumble away onto the blessed release of the rocks below. <laughs> What a fucking monster. <laughs> <laughs>